Hello, YouTubers. The new time travel Jaime88. I'm back with another Doctor Who DVD review. And yes, we're still celebrating Doctor Who's 50th anniversary. So today I'm doing another Doctor Who DVD review. It's another 5th Doctor adventure story. It is Doctor Who Earthshot. Yes, this is a very nice Cyberman story. It's a classic, and it's very underrated. Yup. This four-part story originally transmitted on March 8th, 9th, 15th, and 16th, 1982. And sadly, this is Matthew Waterhouse's last appearances as Adric. So the plot begins as the TARDIS arrive on Earth in his future. Adric argues with the Doctor about the lack of attention and respect he receives compared to Nyssa or Tegan and wish to return to his home planet, Pterodon, a feat the Doctor claim is impossible. As the group explores a series of caves as they called by Lieutenant Scott and his men, who detected their arrival. Scott accused the group of killing the rest of Professor Kyle's exploration team as they were searching for the cave for fossils. The doctor convinced Scott to let him help and points them to a debris of rock where they find the body of Kyle's team. Along with the odd metal hatch, as the doctor examines the hatch, the other men in Scott's force are killed by android undetectable, I mean detectable by human, the human equipment. The doctor is able to stop them, but the androids are able to send image of their master, the Cybermen, who recognize their foe. The doctor is able to open the panel, revealing a powerful tomb I mean, a powerful bomb that could destroy the planet and ordered Nyssa and Tegan to return everyone to the TARDIS while he and Adric deactivated. In the TARDIS, the Doctor traced the signal sent to the android and the bomb back to its source. A freighter spaceship outside the solar system awaiting clearance to proceed to Earth. After the cargo inspected, the doctor instructs everyone to stay in the TARDIS while he and Adric explore it. The two are soon captured by a freighter security force. When they, well, they happen upon the bodies of the dead crew members and are taken to meet Captain Briggs. The Cybermen, hidden in one of the freighter's container, decide... It is time to take control of the ship and begin assaulting towards the bridge. Though the freighter crew, along with Tegan, Kyle, Scott, and his men, tried to set up barricade, their defense are foiled by the rig raid. Briggs, security officer, who has been working as a double agent for the Cybermen, Kyle is killed and Tegan is captured. The bridge is soon taken. The cyber leader revealed that the doctor has foiled their internal plan to wipe out much of the planet while several visiting deterioration are present for interstellar alliance conference but has backup plans of crashing the freighter into Earth. And its antimatter engine provide a similar devastating force the Cybermen set the freighter on high-speed collision course while, well, with Earth and then affect a lock on a freighter's navigation control to prevent humans from tampering with it. The Cyber Leader holding Tegan hostage forced the Doctor to take them to the TARDIS to escape the doomed ship, leaving Adric, Brig, and the other crew members behind. Learning the Cybermen are allergic to go. Adric passed a doctor and his gold badge for mathematic excellence. Scott arrived with the help of Adric and Briggs to defeat their guards 
Adric believed he, he was able to decode the encryption to deactivation the lock. However, his attempt caused the freighter to jump in time, ending up approximately 60 million years ago aboard the TARDIS under the Cyberman's leader gunpoint. The doctor reflects that this was the time that a large object has struck Earth and caused an extension of dinosaur. Adric is able to disintegrate in another part of the lock taking the freighter out of warp but still on course to strike Earth. Briggs, Scott, and the remaining crew use the opportunity to use the ship as escape pod, but Adric refused to leave and attended on defending the lock while Scott tried to communicate with the TARDIS that they are were able to escape, but Adric is still aboard. The cyber leader attempts to kill the TARDIS crew. The Doctor smashed Adric's gold-plated badge into Cyber Leader's chest, momentarily stunning it, and the rest of the crew risked control from the remaining Cybermen. The Doctor tried to pilot the TARDIS back to, to the bridge to rescue Adric, but the control has been damaged. During the fight, Adric is close to finish the last, the, the last lock seal when the damaged Cyberman attempt to fire, the shot missed, but Adric strikes the keyboard, making it impossible the Doctor, Nissa, and Tegan watch helplessly as the freighter smash into Earth with a massive explosion. So, boy, this is a very sad story in that, and um, yeah, it's a good episode. But let me give you guys my thoughts of the story. Earthshock is a great story. Up Cyberman Adventure, and one of the best favorites is the Tomb of the Cybermen, the Evasion, Revenge of the Cybermen, and Attack of the Cybermen. But this is a great, good story, and I give this eight out of ten. It's all right. It's a great story. All right, let's take a look over here. The cover. Here we have Adric, the Fifth Doctor, and the Cybermen. There's the Earth. The Peter Davison years, 1982 to 1984. Here's the TARDIS, the old BBC logo. Here's the spine. In the back, here's the still pictures. Here's the DVD extras. We have audio commentary by actors Peter Davison, Janet Fielding, Sarah Sutton and Matthew Waterhouse. Putting in shock into Earth Shock. CG effects. Opinion. Location film sequence. Do you see it? Music opinions and so forth. Here's the disc for Earth Shock. At the end of the Doctor Who Earth Shock. The credits rolling in silence, but when it's showing on PBS, at the after the showing the broken piece of Alex, I mean Adric's badge, they zoom into the Doctor Who theme music closing credits. Yep, and if you look looking for this episode, I recommend to get Earthshock. This four-part adventure was rebroadcast on BBC One on August 9th through the 16th, 1982 as part of Doctor Who and the Monsters. Sadly, this episode is officially going out of print, but it is going to be released later as the Doctor Who revisit Doctors number five. There are also a special edition release of this story is due out next year. If you don't believe me, check out this website. TARDIS block right here. Take a look at the website. It says here that David Banks said he has contributed a commentary for the special edition of Earthshock. Alright, you guys. That's it for this review. Shout out goes to Melissa Rivera. Till next time, this is the new Time Travel Jaime 88 saying Goodbye.